the storm's coming in that direction, or coming from that direction, rather. If you look up north here, you can see towards the pass. It definitely looks snowy. I just don't know if it's going to drop down this low into the valley, though, because if you're looking directly across the, the valley, way off in the distance, you can still see blue, way off on the horizon, just barely. And the, the clouds are building, so maybe it'll just continue to build. Over here, uh, if you look towards the kind of above Villa Grove and Bonanza area, it's definitely getting dark up in there. It was all clear this morning, so this storm is building up pretty fast. I just I'm just not 100% confident it's going to come all the way down to this part of the valley. I sure hope it does. We'll see how things shake out. Good morning everybody, it's Sunday. I wanted to do a little bit of a field test today to show um, why I don't harvest my water from snow. And um, I've seen a lot of comments in the books. And we're back. I've seen a lot of comments in the video sections uh, since I've been out here when I go to get water from the stream and people are asking why I'm not getting, go ahead, go ahead sir. People are asking why I'm not getting water from snow. So let's go out, get a big old, um, let's fill up this with snow and then I'll show you how much water that creates and why I don't use that method in order to get my drinking water. Okay, so this is granulated snow, which basically means that it's snow that's been out in the sun a bunch and has melted and then reformed as ice at night. So, the, so there's actually a lot more water content in this type of snow compared to the, just like snow that's just you know fallen from the sky. So we're going to do a comparison. We're going to do this snow and show you how much water it creates. And then the snow from the incoming snowstorm, we'll do that too and you'll show you how much water that creates. All right, you ready for the big reveal? Here's how much water we got. Hardly any. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, let me do this, I'm gonna put the tripod down. Let me, uh, let me set up a shot here real quick. I wanna measure this in my Nalgene bottle. We can see just how much water was accumulated from that full deal of snow. That was more than I thought. So let's see here, how many ounces is this? It came up to roughly 16 ounces, 17 ounces, which is, that's a lot more than I anticipated it would be, which is great. But it's still a very small amount. I mean, think about that and how much time it took to melt that snow. So you gotta think with the effort involved in that and how much time it took, how many of these half Nalgene bottles is it going to take to fill up this seven gallon container? You know, it's going to take you forever. So this is good in a survival situation, but not good in just a, a living situation. And that's why I don't recommend getting your, your drinking water from snow just because it takes too long. And, and plus too, it's like if you're going to do it over a stove, if you got a wood stove with, with endless amounts of wood, then you're, then you're, you're, you know, if you want to take the time to do it, that's your call. But if you're doing it over a gas stove, like a canister stove, you're gonna run out of fuel real fast. So uh, it's just better just to get your your water from a stream, you know. And it's nice because right now I don't have to I don't have to purify it with the way that the the snow snow melts just coming down. It's just pure it's just pure water. So uh, there's not no pollutants in it at the moment. I've been drinking it now for two weeks and I feel fine. So I know that it's it's safe. But um, anyway, that's that's why. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of comments like, hey, just go get the snow outside. And that's, that's why I don't do it, it just takes too long. Hey Sierra, come here. Sierra, this way. Sierra. Come on, girl. Come here, babe. <laughs> Gotta stop and smell something, right? Hey, come on, let's come over here. Sierra, come on. Selective listening is not working right now. Come on, let's go. Hey, come on. Thank you. 
Oh, this is great back in here. What, what great views. I should come over here for like a sunset. See if I can catch some awesome, awesome clouds because it's, uh, it's just a closer view of mountains compared to the southern part of the valley. If I look across from where I'm at, it's so far away you can't really see the mountains hardly at all. But over here, I could zoom in still within my four times range and get pretty decent shots. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but you know, it's real, let me, it's too normal here. You know, it's, it's pretty dark up here. Around the, around the trees, it's actually pretty, really dark. But then you come down here and you can see how it starts to lighten up, especially we get to right about here. You're starting to see breaks in the clouds. So I'm, I'm hoping this all fills in down here. That way we get plenty of snow, but I'm just not, I don't know, not very confident at the moment. Like I said, we'll see how this shapes up.